Welcome back to the Dream League Soccer 2024 Free-to-Play Road to Glory series, where the ultimate goal is to get a fully maxed team of 11 players as fast as possible without spending a single dollar. We are now one legendary player away from a full team and bench of legendary players with just enough coins to complete it. Now this might sound great, but there are still some upgrades to be made to the team since I currently have none of the four highest rated players in the game. So my goal for this episode is to win events, Dream League Live, and career mode games for coins and legendary agents to buy all four 86 overall players for my team so let's get right into the action all right it is currently still day 27 we're leaving off directly from last video and uh yeah we I, as promised we're gonna buy rodri which means we're gonna be finally saying goodbye to our last rare player on my team which is gabby so i know you're the first player i ever bought but you're gonna have to go. 85 overall, Rodri, welcome to my team. 2,400 coins, which means we can no longer afford an 86 overall player, but you know what? They haven't even showed up yet. I have to buy a bunch of 85 overalls before they start giving them to me, right? So now that we have a fully legendary team, you might be wondering if I'm going to increase my accommodation on this account, and the answer is going to be no. Now I know what comes with that is having to get rid of pretty solid legendary players that I would like on my team just as subs and stuff, but I want to max this account as fast as possible, so I want to put as many gems as possible into upgrading the team instead of making it bigger and also making it harder to max every single player since there's more players. So yeah, fully legendary team and subs at the beginning of episode number four, and that's amazing. It is officially day 30, which is basically one month into this Road to Glory series unofficially. I have now officially finished the new year season, which means we can now get into the next season, which is the winter season. We finished 12th on the leaderboard, getting 270 coins, which is great, and we can afford Forward Messi even more now. All there's left to do now is to complete my daily challenges, which will probably only take one more career mode match, and hopefully an 86 overall shows up. I guess we'll find out. Well, I scored my header goal and my nine goals with a forward. Do we get anybody? No. All right. Well, we're, we're going to try again the next day. I mean, we have what? Uh, 40 career matches to complete, so I mean eventually they'll show up, right? It is now day 34 of this Road to Glory series, and yes, I have been skipping a few days. I don't have to record every single day because a lot of the days are just me finishing my daily challenges and nothing very much interesting happens. But we are now up to 6,000 coins, which means we can afford a couple players, as well as the Prestige Plate has started the next event. It is Endurance Events again. Oh boy. Now I have already gotten 13 points in this event and I do think I will play most of this off camera because well, there's a lot of games and uh, there's not a lot of time for this video. Which means the reason why I decided to record today was because in the transfer market, we are going to get our first 86 overall player. We have Kevin De Bruyne here, one of four of the highest rated players in the game, and he is the highest rated midfielder, so it would be a no-brainer to buy him. Which means we can finally get rid of Verratti. I don't think he was ever really that good on my team, so let's get a fitness coach. And there he is. While we have the open spot, I will open this um, uh, rare agent. We're not going to get anybody good. It's just rare, but we're just going to release him right away. So uh, let's see who we get. Uh, we get, uh, yeah, Garnacho. All right, Kevin De Bruyne, 2,600 coins, 86 overall. Look at those stats. Let's get him on the team. Boom. The highest rated player in the game. My first 86 overall player of this account on day 34. But look at this best 11 and it's only going to get better from here. Haha, <laughs> psych, it's still day 34. And why is it still day 34, you might be asking? Well, it's pretty obvious is that we get our second 86 overall player today and that is Holland. We can finally get rid of Jota who hasn't really done much for me yet But you know what? It doesn't really matter. He's gone. He's gonna be replaced with an 86 overall 195 centimeter tall Erling Holland who is just like look at those stats that is so good Like I feel like I don't even have to upgrade this guy but 2,800 coins well spent hopefully I mean I hopefully he doesn't end up being a bust, but I doubt it. It's Holland, dude So now if you'll excuse me, I still have 20 
29 more points to go in this prestige plate. It is now day 35. Yesterday we got a Holland and he has been absolutely great. We used him to become champion of this prestige plate. I don't actually know exactly how many games it was, but it was just above the minimum. I wanna say it was under 20 games, if not 20 games. So I think that went well. I also went ahead and promoted to division two while completing this weekly challenge. I still need 10 more games. I have 11 hours, pray for me. But before we get into coaching, I still want Messi and Mbappe on my team. So if we can get really lucky with this legendary agent that I just won, that would be insane. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of Sobosly here. I know he has 90 speed but I mean he's 80 overall doesn't have much technical skills so we're just gonna stick with my Bellingham uh, De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva there's just it, there's too much competition for him so let's get a technical coach here and let's open this legendary agent wait no let's open the rare agent first okay let's go open the rare agent first we're gonna get rid of him this was for the silver medal of the endurance event i think we can just skip through this i really don't care wow right back with 81 speed that would have been helpful a long time ago all right now the important stuff 80 plus overall legendary player i mean they're gonna stay on my team until a uh, messi mbappe shows up but if we can get a messi or mbappe um it's definitely not gonna be mbappe but who are we gonna get uh okay wow they're giving me players that i'm gonna feel guilty getting rid of okay thanks game tony cruz it is now day 37 we have a couple daily challenges we can claim that is 11 gems and our gem count is slowly rising that's 1300 we also have a weekly challenge to claim they don't seem as bad this week so i won't have to grind as much career mode and i can get started on this endurance event i only have to get 40 points this time so it's a little bit of a relief but it is still a lot of games and i only have two days and 18 hours it's still a grind, I guess. But before I start getting into the endurance event that I'll probably most likely play off camera, we have a certain somebody that we are going to purchase in the transfer market. So we have Mbappe, one of the 86 overall players I was waiting for to show up in the transfer market. His card looks really, really solid. The only thing that's lacking is the strength. But does that really matter on an attacker? I don't know. That speed is so good. That shooting is so good. I really hope he's really solid for this team. Now, when it comes to the player who I am going to get rid of, I think it's going to be Tony Cruz. I know his stats are pretty solid. He's 83 overall, but I do think Odegaard is just better. And I do want a certain number of attackers on my team. So I think Cruz has to go here. And I know I just got him, but I, yeah, I haven't really played any games with him. I, I don't know. I have Cruz on my main account. We want some new players. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's turn you into a technical coach, and now let's buy Mbappe. 2,800 coins, I cannot wait to pair up Mbappe and Holland up front to um, for my attack in this endurance event. It's going to be so nice. It's only 40 points, you know, I'm going to just destroy. But okay, we still have 4,800 coins to afford Messi and maybe a couple better center backs, and then we could start coaching. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, now time to get into the prestige phase. I've got to win a whole bunch of online games. All right. It is now day number 38. I have progressed a little bit in this prestige phase. I have five wins in a row and 15 points. Maybe these endurance events aren't as bad as I thought, but I mean, I played five games and I've won five games and I still don't even have a bronze medal yet. But the true reason why I'm here on day 38 is that Messi is in the transfer market wow he only has 80 speed i mean i guess he is getting older but uh that's a little embarrassing <laughs> so if we want to have messi on the team we have to get rid of one of my forwards since messi's a forward i want to replace one of my forwards coleman has more pace and he's a little bit taller but nkunku is just like better overall and he was my captain so i think i am leaning towards keeping nkunku and just getting rid of Komen. I honestly would have loved to have kept Komen on my team, but uh, Dream League Soccer, uh, you know, limits how many players you can have on your team. So uh, we have to get rid of Komen. Um, Messi is just better, and that's just the way it's going to be. All right, Komen, you've been absolutely legendary for my team, but it's time for someone better, and yeah. All right, Messi, join my team so I can feel better about myself. Okay, let's see it. Look at Messi. There we go. We officially have every single 86 overall player on my team and it is definitely fitting that Messi is the last one and there he is 84.5 team overall so honestly giving an overall look at my team this I feel like is my core 20 I am going to be getting rid of one of the 80 overall defenders so I have room to keep you know releasing players to get more coaches and then I do think I want to get a, a one better center back better than Thiago Silva because 
Thiago Silva's not that good. I know I don't have Ronaldo on my team, so all you Ronaldo fans are probably going to be mad, but I mean, he's 83 overall. I've had Ronaldo on all my teams. I think I want to give Leao a shot. I guess I could have gotten rid of Nkunku, but I kind of want to keep my captain. I don't know. Is that so bad? <laughs> anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to go back to this prestige base. I have to get 40 points for that legendary agent. I'll tell you what, if I get Ronaldo and a legendary agent, maybe I'll keep him. It is now day 39. I am officially champions of this prestige vase, which means I have a legendary agent here that uh, I will open. So as per usual, I need to make some space, so I will be getting rid of Thiago Silva here. I wonder if his legendary agent will be an instant rare coach, but I guess we'll have to find out, and maybe we'll get Ronaldo, because I did say if I got Ronaldo and a legendary agent, I would keep him. So here we go. Let's see who we get. I mean, we can't really get a really solid player. All the 86 overalls are kind of taken already. I have them on my team already, so maybe this will end up just being a instant rare coach, but, uh, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, that is an improvement to Thiago Silva, but I do not think he'll be on the final team because I would prefer, like, Militao, I think. So with that, this is basically the team that I want to upgrade every single player to max, or at least 11 of them, to call this series a success. Now, I know I only have max 20 players, and it would be nice to increase my accommodation and buy more players and max more players, so maybe that is something I could think of in the future, but for now, right now, I am trying to max 11 players as fast as possible. I guess I could uh, release more more players but uh, it's just really annoying to have no subs so we're just gonna say 20 players and we're gonna max the first 11 and that will be the end of the series once I be able to do that so with that I'm gonna end off episode number four right here we got every single 86 overall player and basically the team that I want to upgrade and uh, yeah I think we're gonna start coaching in the next one and it's gonna be a wild ride I think there's gonna be a lot of days in episode five, I think. <laughs> but with that, thank you guys for continuing watching this Road to Glory series, and I'll see you in the next one.